Okay, that was stupid. I knew it was only a matter of time. It took a little longer to get there than I thought. I am notorious for doing stupid things. Um, got the wire or the got the uh, string that I was trying to use to guide the cable back through the hole I made caught up in the uh, in the table saw there. Kind of ripped it right out through the servo across the room, ripped the wire out of it. I meant to capture some of that recovery on uh, on film. Didn't work out. Had to untangle the, the wire. Let's say the wire got ripped right out, so I had to open up the servo, re-solder the wires on there, test it. Seemed to test out all right. So good thing, didn't have to buy a new one. Can use the original Viper one. Mentioned right tools for the job before that includes your PPE personal protective equipment Luckily got my eyeballs Kept my fingers, but uh, that was stupid so uh, Hopefully a lesson learned although as I say I've been there before so Some damage to the foam Not too bad we'll recover. It's all right stay safe out there
Hi, Michigan, North Dakota. My not, my not North Dakota. You out there? All right. We are one part closer to the Iron Maiden flight. Gotta tell you, I'm really happy to be through that part. Ooh, it was a doozy. Um, I did keep my signature weird bumps in the stabilizer pattern going, so I kind of did it on the horizontal stabilizer, got a little weird bump in the vertical one, be all right. I changed to a different uh, diameter, thicker diameter, uh, carbon fiber tube near the end. Didn't think about how that would change the shape. Should have finished it off with either maybe sanding it to a point, a little more of a point, or adding a little bit of balsa to a point. But it turned out all right. Um, of course, we had the incident, which we will never mention again. Um, also, hopefully you saw why I had the two pieces of balsa down here, that last one. I knew the foam would be cut away from that, so the, the upper one's really holding the, the, foam, the foam for the most part. Of course, you could have just had a thicker piece of balsa, but that's what I had, so I did it that way. Don't know if I really showed on the last video, there was some lights in the horizontal stabilizer. Show you that a little bit. Probably not too easy to see. Still got to do a final position on everything back here, including the lights, but that's supposed to be a steady uh, logo light for the vertical stabilizer. Wait update. Wait for the update. I'm still, I'm still working on it catchphrase for that. I did weigh these. I'm sitting at about almost 0.3 pounds for all that. I estimated 0.5, so a little lighter. Happy with that. It's about 0.14 kilograms if you're on the better system. You can then, of course, uh, one, two, three, 140 grams. If I did that right, that seems pretty light, but yeah, just under uh, five pounds or 0.5 pounds, so happy with that. Um, I'll try and move it after I disconnect all of it. Let's take a look up front. Not glued on yet, I think I mentioned that. Not final position, I'm gonna get the wings on first, then get the Horizontal stabilizer set than the vertical set. Luckily, there is no rotating machinery. I seem to have some issues with electronics as well. I'll talk about that. So I'm going to move this. Let's see what happens. Let's say that was a successful move. Successful. Did get the, the nose wheel installed. Had some issues with that as well. Thought it'd be pretty simple. Uh, I forgot that it would impact this main piece, but I kind of accounted for that originally. I uh, just had to remember to cut the, the hole out. As I was cutting that, you probably saw I had some difficulties. I was actually hitting a piece of that flat carbon fiber I put in there. I was thinking, why am I hitting that? I should have plenty of room on either side. I kind of planned for that. Of course, then instantly realized I was measuring center based on the main support, and the wheel is offset from that main support. So my wheel is uh, four millimeters off of uh, center line. But, uh, I'll just shift the nose four millimeters and you won't be able to tell. I looked at what I'd have to do to fix that four millimeters and uh, I'll live with the four millimeters. Luckily I got two other wheels to install. So um, also when I first fired it up with uh, using the receiver, the servo was completely locked up. I don't know if that was something from my, I installed it with epoxy. That's an exothermic reaction, lets off heat. I don't know if that did something to it. I thought I glued it solid. I then connected it to the servo tester. 
and I was able to break it free with using a little bit of force from my hands as well. Seems like it's okay now. And then it was also binding a little bit on the linkage. Of course, I normally think gravity would help with that. Had it upside down. But just to ensure gravity's working, I installed that extra little plastic piece that also did come from the Viper. So sticking with that. So I think it's working okay. Definitely, uh, you know, I never did a complete scratch build. Never done retracks. And as I thought about it, I never done uh, a nose wheel. I've always done tail draggers. So it's completely new to me. I'll be happy with four millimeters on, on a screw up there, a little mess up. That's okay. I've seen worse. Um, so that's where we're at. I was told I did not fully embody my 16 candles reference. Um, to some, it made no sense whatsoever. Probably should have cut it out, but of the last video. But I figured the three people who watched that video, you know, at least two of them will probably enjoy it. If, if for nothing else than to at least think and say, hey, at least I'm not this fool. I will try one more time. I did mean to fully embody that one a little better. I did not mean to on the fire marshal build, I'll repeat, just trying to quote him. That's a, that's a diff difficult one. This one actually I think is even more difficult and uh, I don't even know why I tried. Don't know why I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna change Viper to Aeroplane to make it sound a little more like the original. I really gotta stop, but okay. Almost tipped over backwards. Okay, one more time. They really said just, they just, they didn't get it. They, it didn't make any sense because I missed some, I guess, at least the first key word to, to kind of cue them in, but probably won't help you. Dong, where is my aeroplane? Aeroplane? <laughs> lake, big lake. <laughs> That's the best I can do. I'm not gonna do it again. Again, for the three people watching, at least you can say they're not this fool. All right, with that, that's a wrap on part six. Thank the heavens, done with that. Moving on to the main wings. And then we'll get everything else set up. So thanks for watching. And until next time, fly low.